Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. I'm Joel. Today we're going to answer the question, does point of impact shift based on body position? So I've been asked quite a few times to do a video on this. I'm finally getting around to it. And uh, you might also go and check out a, a video from Frank Galley. He's got one where he, uh, he checked velocity differences between positional shots. Uh, but what I'm focusing on today is body position and how point of impact shifts based on our position. So I'm gonna start uh, putting a group on paper from the prone position at 300 yards. Then I'm gonna go and stand at a bench, a standard cement bench and put another group on paper at 300 yards. And then finally, I'm going to shoot from a PRS style barricade at 300 yards. And we're gonna see uh, how point of impact shifts. Now the discussion is, you know, is it just shooter induced based on the shooter having to change positions between shots? Most likely, but we're gonna go ahead and do the test anyway for the benefit of all the brand new shooters out there who maybe don't quite understand the concept, uh, that sort of thing. So hang out with me today, guys, and let's get this done. Let's go ahead and get our group down there at 300 yards. And I've got a lot of mirage down there. My target is just barely sticking up over this little rise. So could be interesting, we'll do our best. All right, we're going to run down there and figure out what we did. I just can't really believe what I'm seeing. I mean, that's the gun shoots well, but usually not that well. I mean, that's three shots in the third of an inch at 300 yards. Uh, I'm going to take it, I guess. I don't anticipate the other groups are going to be that good. We'll see. Here we are from the bench, trying to square up straight behind the rifle. Put it in my pocket and my cheek weld, everything the same as much as possible. Let's go ahead and see what our group does from the bench position. Again, I've got a decent mirage down there coming off of a hill and the sun is directly into my scope. We're going to do the best we can. All right, I'm gonna run down range and check it out. All right, that's a little closer to what I ex expected to see. That's probably about a one inch group at the 300 yard line here. And that is off of the, um, off of the bench. All right guys, so obviously I'm kneeling positional off of a barricade. Um, my wobble is larger down there, so, uh, I anticipate the group to be larger, but uh, I'm going to do the absolute best I can just to stay completely steady on each shot. Take that extra time just to make sure, but we'll see what we get here. All right, we're gonna run down range and see what we get. All right, so we've got a shot here, here, and here. So um, we came up uh, a ways, probably uh, two inches up from our other groups. Stayed fairly centered on our target though, uh, which that's a good thing, but our group did open up <clears throat> to approximately two and a half inches. So I'm gonna measure these up and We'll uh, see what kind of conclusions we can draw from this. All right, guys, here's what we got. 
This target was shot from prone at 300 yards. We're looking at a quarter of an inch center to center on that group at 300 yards, which is obviously crazy good. Um, I, it doesn't shoot that good normally, so for whatever reason, we got lucky this time. I'm also gonna measure how far off of my center aiming point that was. I'm gonna go to the bench. This was 300 yards off the bench, standing. All right, and this group is a little bit more indicative of what we would normally see out of this gun at 300 yards. Let's go ahead and measure it up. Yeah, center to center, we're looking at one inch exactly. All right, and let's measure how far off of the center line it is. And this one was off of the barricade with a lot more wobble down there. Um, I anticipated this group to get quite a bit bigger and it did, so let's go ahead and measure this one. <clears throat> yeah, we're looking at three inches on the group size at 300 yards. All right, so I've had kind of a day to ponder the results of this, uh, this kind of impromptu test that I was doing. Um, trying to figure out, really answering the question, how much or do shots you know, point of impacts change based on a body's position. And so, you know, I was able to get basically the exact same result from prone to a modified prone. But then when I went to the positional barricade shot, my group um, raised two inches um, higher than um, my, my prone shots. And so the question is, why does it do that? The simple answer, and kind of the answer I got, you know, I went on to Sniper's Hide, and I should, I should know better than this, but I went on to Sniper's Hide, and I asked the question, and of course, it's always the shooter's fault. Always the shooter's fault on there. You did something wrong. Now, I'm not, I'm not discounting that. It could have been my fault. But I think it's impossible for a human to get the exact same result every single time. So... My fundamentals that I employed uh, from prone to modified prone yielded an almost identical result. Um, I employed the exact same fundamentals off of the barricade. So how come the result was different? So it's, it's just as easy to say that, well, it's a positional shot. It's not as stable. Um, my wobble was larger, so my group was bigger. Um, could have shifted based on that alone, in my opinion. Um, I had a different rear bag, you know, that, that gives a little bit. So under the same amount of recoil, the rear of the gun would sink into that bag, thereby raising the barrel up, shots went high. There are multiple reasons for this, even though I could have done everything exactly the right, the right way. Maybe I didn't. Maybe there was something that I did. Chime in on this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Let's have a discussion on it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Please consider supporting through Patreon. That is a huge help to me as, go, as we go forward. Tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.